Okay, I am going to put a bed together, a queen bed. So I'm going to probably do one of those putting together bed videos that people do and um, try to document it as much as possible. Okay, all right. All right, this right here is one of the components. There are, I believe, three components. Let's see what this says. It says Hauga. There's a whole bunch of stuff here that I have emptied on here. And you haven't yet to, you haven't yet to unwrap them. There's also this box that I pulled out of here. That's it. I believe they are the legs. Yeah, legs like that. Um, so that's that. There's this guy right here. I don't know how to orient the camera, but there's this guy right here. If you look at the arch, this is going to be the arch, you know, the bed rest, the headrest. That I pulled out the headrest there. Hauga, 24 pages. Some do's and don'ts. The screws that are there. There's one of this guy. Only one of this. That's weird. Just one of one screw. Four of that. 14 of that, 22 of those, four of this tiny one. Little uh, uh, interesting um, uh, kind of, I don't know what it's called. Eight of that, one of that, two of these, two of these. I found three of these, not four, but I found three of those. So that's weird. Yeah, I'll show you. It says two of these, right? I have one, two, Oh, and then a thinner one, and then a smaller one. Okay. Good. Okay. Great. According to this page, according to this page, they want me to put the headboard on the floor and put those uh, screws in the thin ones. So the thin one. Okay. So I have the headboard on the floor right here. That's the headboard. There was a zip at the bottom, so I unzipped it. There we go with those two things. I think that uh, that looks quite like it. Yep. I'm gonna screw them in. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out of the plastic baggie over here. I'm going to, uh, I already did this part, so I'm going to first of all fix this thing. There's a little latch here. I'm gonna get the this pipe thing or stand and put it in. Kind of like that. It's gonna fit in. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna take this leg, insert it into this hole. and screw in. Now I'm gonna take that dotted line bar is a wooden bar. I'm gonna take that, put it in according to the black uh, arrows and slide it up. So it's gonna go on top of those two things that, uh, two stands that I put there before and it's gonna form like a base uh, bar. Yeah. No wonder they only put one of these, so that's the wooden thing. So it's gonna go kind of like this underneath, and then find some screws to screw it in. Okay. Okay, what I failed to notice was these uh, second, uh, you know, second smallest one only go at the ends here and here. My brain assumed it was also going to this place. But they're very specific not to put that in there. Now, one of the consequences of not scrolling down is I didn't know that this page was there, which is going to take the second tallest, number two, in the middle. So I'm going to have to unscrew these two guys, which is not a problem, and put in the second tallest. So, yep. All right, I have swapped out this one for this one I'm 
So guess what I found? My power drill. Yep, my power drill. I put the right bit in there, the right drill bit, right there. It's a good shot. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna screw it in. It's a bit wobbly, but it's going in. Now I'm going to take this leg, identify the other end of the bed. That's the obviously the bed board, which is upside down. This is the leg of the bed, which is also upside down. And simply screw it in at each end. Very easily done. Nice and easy. I like that they padded these beds. The previous one that I had, there was no padding at all. It was just wood. But they padded this one. And it's a lot better. It will feel nicer. Also, you can't injure yourself at the edge. All right. I'm just going to find a way to do get this right. Good and tight, nice and good. Okay, I have laid the bottom part of the bed on my lap like a baby. And I have pre put the screws in with my fingers. And now I'm gonna use the power drill to drill it in. And when I get to the end of the screwing, it will swing this, uh, what's it called again? A power drill to one side, telling me that it has completed the rotation. Okay. Yeah, I took my drill bit there. Let's put it in. Honestly, I don't know why they're making me screw these things in. I'll be honest with you, I don't know, but maybe we'll find out. enjoying building the thing that I forgot to record so I got this very long bar very long bar out of that box over there and these ends and I just basically did this yeah just basically did this so right now I'm on this stage right here I'm gonna put these little things kind of look like this the screw hole here and uh, point this towards the end and i see it they look like little boots 
Look like little boots. Yeah. And at the other end, right there, it will look like little boots. Next up, take the other bar. It has a bit of an indentation uh, at the bottom. And take the other um, leg. And so this is going to be the middle of the bed, like the crisscross middle, basically, where the center of gravity lies. And uh, what kind of screwdriver are we going to use for this one? The longest one. There's only one of those. And it's going to be easy to find. You can see a very long one across right there. Very long one. That's it. That's the one. Okay. This is where I am right now. I've taken the headboard. Connected it to that long bar and connected it to the backboard. I've also connected <coughs> these two crisscrossy bars. Okay. And then I've done this, which is to connect this metal to the side boards and put screws in them. The one on th this side and the one on that side. So that's where we are right now. Next thing is basically, I think it's all done, just to pick them up and connect them to each other. And, uh, well, and then we add these. These are going to be pretty much the springs. They're wooden and they're connected. Wooden, little wooden um, slabs. They're very strong, you know, they, they, you know, they look like samurai swords. And there's uh, plenty of them. Uh, there are two sets. One half goes on this side, the other half goes on the other side. All right. All right, I've been able to plug in the sides. I unscrewed the screws a little bit to allow the hinges to sit on the screws. So which means the last thing is going to be to screw them in properly so you can see here it's, yeah, it's a it's a little bit outside it's not tight so the next one will be too tight in them so the worst is over that's this is the worst of it yeah yeah worst is over and uh, this guy can just uh slide under and get screwed so it's all going to be mostly screwing in now and then i'll put those uh, uh can you zoom in well yeah put those those guys on top and then uh, i have a casper mattress if you know your casper this blue and white guy over here that's casper all right this is one of those slabs of wood Eventually, they will look like this when I'm done with them. There we go. So, it works like that. It works like that. All right, see? That's how it goes. That is how it goes. So, uh, I've done this one. Now I'm going to do the second part and, uh, and after that, um, on, unravel the Casper. You're going to see a wonder of how a Casper mattress unravels. It's pretty tight. All right. Done. I am absolutely finished with the bed. There it is. Casper. Queen. Here it is. Thing about uh, Casper is they are very good at uh, um, making the customer feel comfortable and feel good. Um, why do I say that? As soon as you open the box, you see nice <laughs> eyes. At first you're awake and then when you use us, you go to sleep. This is a bit of a unveiling here. 
and then they put the mattress in vacuum sealed meaning they compress it and they roll it as you can see uh, i guess they put a card in this is very sweet this is my second castle mattress this was my first you can't see it underneath the uh the bed sheet but this was not in there i don't believe protection investment also back then i had to pay 55 extra dollars to get a 10-year warranty and now i believe they just put the 10-year warranties in all of this see free 10-year limited warranty i bought mine i believe april of 2019 which was just a year and a half ago and uh it didn't have and you had to pay extra for 10-year warranty now it's in there it makes a lot of sense although they do have a 100 day uh, uh return if, if you if you use it for 100 days and you're not you are not um satisfied you return it so yeah oh this is nice this should be fun like that hi welcome to casper we believe in the power of a great night's sleep so we create award-winning expertly designed products for your best for your best rest now let's now let's get you ready for bed looks like a little children's book okay so the, the, they're kind of telling me how the best way to do it so i'll lie down on the floor lengthwise set not the mattress unpack your mattress in the room where you plan to sleep on it lay it on the side find the end of the uh, outer plastic wrap and pull it towards you once the mattress is unfurled tear open the inner plastic wrap uh, hop in the mattress awaits so i'm supposed to put the, act the actual mattress on the bed I believe. uh we got answers to some of the common answer questions will it take time to adjust my mattress if transitioning from spring to foam it might take some time for your body to adjust give yourself at least 30 days to adapt do i need to flip it no castle mattresses are layered very deliberately and should never be flipped we do recommend rotating it 180 degrees every six months. I heard about this one when I did some research, uh, what, which means watch some videos on YouTube. And that's where I heard that you should rotate. I had never rotated mine, so, so that's not too good. I did not know about that. How do I clean it? To clean stains, zip off the cover and, and uh, spot clean with mild detergent and warm water to avoid shrinking. Do not put the cover in the dryer. What can I put it on? Uh, Flat platform. The flat platform or adjustable base offers plenty of direct support under your mattress. Slated base. A slated base works to, I believe this is what you call a slated base. Yeah. A slated base uh, works just fine as long as the gap between each slat or slate is no more than three inches, the slated base will work. Yeah, I believe this is no more than three inches. Yeah, from what I'm looking at. Foundation and box spring. Uh, we recommend Casper Foundation for optimal support. You can also use a box spring with solid wood slats or slits that are spaced less than four inches apart. Complete your dream bedroom. So now they're upselling the castle pillows, Casper sheets, and duvets. That's that's bull. I'm gonna buy it from Amazon or Walmart. Yeah, and then a Spanish version. All right, let's try this out. You seen this? Oh, they folded it the other way as well, so I better. Uh... Mm. Yeah, this is top. I've seen this in videos. Mm. Of course, it's heavy. It's supposed to be some freaking mattress. Oh man. Okay. It's it's uh it's taking shape now. Yeah, it's increasing in size. Maybe if you can see this. You can hear it too. Yep. Check it out, even the color matches. 
Duh, I'm not using color much. I'm not using a bed sheet. Yeah. So that's how the Casper mattress is packed. It inflates itself by itself. This, this is it. This is the bed. Finally done. Hard work pays off, man. My God, I'm so tired. And it's just a coincidence that the colors match. I didn't do that on purpose. It's a beautiful, beautiful bed.